There's a bird eating from a block over there. I'm out of town again, so welcome to the new studio. Of course, by the time this is put up, I will be back in town. So, just a temporary change of scenery. Um, it's actually kind of ironic, because today a lot of this video is going to be talking about the new film from Harmon, which is called Phoenix, and I am here currently in, let's call it Phoenix. And basically, the film, not the, the city, is a 200 speed film, uh, 35 millimeter right now. It looks like it's going to be more of a limited release, and the idea is to take the profits, the revenue, whatever, from this film, and put that towards making new color film. As the head of Harmon said, uh, they are aware of the limited selection and the color field, color film field genre, if you will, and they're looking to change that because they've heard a lot of consumers are like, oh, I wish I had more color film options, and they're like, we hear you. And I think that's something that's really cool uh, because I just feel like there's a lot of companies that like, like, hey, Fuji, please bring back 400H. And they're like, got it. We'll make it harder to find your, our film. And like, hey, Kodak, maybe stop making plastic point and shoots. They're like, got it. $5,000 Super 8. Uh, that was a mistake I made previously. My last video, which I will link up here, uh, I believe I said it was like 2500 And I, I read that somewhere. That was, I think it was between 2500 and 5000 And I was like, wishful thinking, 2500 but it looks like it's going to be listed more at like 5,000, which is uh, absurd. Um, kind of negates all of the positive points I was making because that price point is just completely unacceptable, I think, for anyone outside of like rental houses to buy. But like, who would want to rent a Super 8 camera? I digress. Anyway, so the Phoenix film from Harman, uh, something I speculated was that I thought they were going to be making it in Germany, but it sounds like they're actually make, made it in Northwest England in their own facilities, which is awesome, meaning that they're retooling stuff in order to continue to produce color film, which is something that I think everybody would like to see. There's a lot of uh, sample images of the film out there, and the looks that they have are high contrast, visible grain with punchy, vibrant colors. And I I see that. Like, I see that in a lot of the work that they have. Uh, it, it's definitely a different look than your Kodak Golds, than your Fuji C200s. It's its own thing. And it might not be your cup of tea, but it's a new option for people. And I think that that's really what's important. So, hopefully, I'll get my hands on a roll here soon and test it out, give it a rip, and see how that shakes out. But yeah, Phoenix Film, it's out. It's awesome. Go check it out. I'll link to um, the news like the, the article down below and uh i think a lot of shops will sell it soon it looks like it's going for about 12 bucks a roll which is pretty great uh speaking of 12 bucks a roll i got the photos back from the ravini labs i think it is 800 tungsten film i shot that when i went to la um i'll put like a couple frames just for reference i've got a much larger video planned for that but overall um quail kicking rocks over here um really enjoyed the film great alternative so that's cool and then another big news for ilford a lot of ilford news ilford Harmon news this week and that is their kentmere film line which is like the more budget-friendly black and white film looks like they are releasing pan 100 and 400 in 120 which again is huge because that is bringing an affordable option to the table just more tools for people to use if you want to test a 120 film camera that's a film that you can use because it's not going to be too expensive panchromatic film looks really cool it's it's a good day it's a very good day also the weather out here is fantastic so that's just kind of you know bright spirits bright moods out here and then the final bit of news i think is that orto uh, is a ferrania film 50 iso film and that is being released in 120 now and I don't know if it was being released before, but I just received like the news alert from them that it's now being released in 120. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, it's just another one of those film companies that's like, oh, I, I'm reading the market. Do you need anything? Okay. Can I move these around? 
Uh, yeah, you can. No, it's fine. I can just pause. And finally, there's something that I would like to address. I totally spaced uh, mentioning this last week, but two weeks ago, I think it was, I made a video about this, Modified Film and their new film. And I said it was much similar to like old era chrome film. This was like going to be the new era chrome and what have you. The creator of this film actually commented on that video and I pinned it just so everyone could see if they scrolled down um, that it's not actually like that. It's much more similar to Loma Chrome Purple. And I just wanted to address that in case people are like, oh, you lied to me. I, I did. I, I did. Uh, due to my lack of research, uh, I did lie. So I wanted to correct that. But speaking of modified film, and I'm having a roll of it here. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. I'm planning on loading this up into K1000 here and uh, giving it a rip for the rest of the day because according to the creators, uh, basically, according to the manufacturer, producer, what have you, of this film, bright, sunny days, stuff like this is gonna be best in order to get a lot of the look out of it. So I'm hoping to take some shots around here. I got that cactus right there. I'll probably be taking a picture of, and we'll see how it turns out. Um, which I will link to their video again down below if you want to check out this film. I definitely recommend it. Seems like a really cool dude, so I suggest that. Um, that's it for news, I believe, this week. Uh, let's see. Yep, I'll be back in the office uh, today, basically. Finish working on some stuff. I got a bunch of emails sent out, so if you have tried to contact me in the last uh, few weeks, I'm trying to get back to everybody. So appreciate everyone's patience on that. It is, uh, you know, a 24-7 jab. But, uh, yeah, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. Very excited about Phoenix Film. I can't wait to get my hands on a roll of that. I'm also very excited about the Ferrania Orto film because I've seen really good stuff from them lately. I've never shot P30 in medium format, so I'm going to be giving that a rip as well and hopefully do like some nice portraiture work because I'm just really curious to see how that looks. The other thing about uh, Orto before I sign off here is Ferrania actually recommends you try to scan it yourself. So if you send it out to a lab like I do, and they develop it and they scan it, and you're noticing that it's way too contrasty, try giving it a rip yourself, scanning. It's gonna be much easier to do that in medium format than 35 millimeter, just due to the size of the negatives. Um, but that's something that they recommend doing on their website, which I will, I'll link to down below as well. But yeah, I think that does it for now. Very excited about the potential of Harmon entering the scene as a new color film producer. Very excited about the expanded capabilities of Kentmere in medium format. I feel like that's just going to be a really great budget addition to film photography. And I'm really pissed that the Kodak Super 8 camera is going to be five fucking grand. That is absurd to me. It is ridiculous. I am not happy about it. And I feel like I did not do a good enough job expressing that because I was like, oh, you know, 2,500, that's a lot. But, you know, maybe you can find your way into that for the budget. But to five grand to shoot what is ostensibly like the lowest quality of film out there is uh, ridiculous, especially when a cartridge, you're limited to a cartridge. It's different than 16 millimeter. 16 millimeter camera, a lot of them have 100 foot or 400 foot spool options. 100 foot's only three and a half minutes, which kind of sucks. 400 feet is like 12 minutes thereabouts. I think it's a little bit more, but regardless, that's much more of like a production level thing. You only have two and a half minutes of a 50 foot fucking cartridge and a Super 8 camera, it, uh, it just, uh, So anyway, that being said, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this lovely day. I'm gonna shoot this really cool film in one of my favorite cameras with one of my favorite lenses, and I'm excited to share that video with you in the future. Also, I'm very happy with how the 800 tungsten film came out, so I will again be putting some pictures up there and look forward to a video of that in the future. Uh, thank you all for watching, appreciate it as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.